Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do uh, your daily read. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Aquarius. All right, thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for my Aquarius. Whatever comes up, comes out. Ace of Wands, some of you are going to get back in shape, get motivated and do about doing something. This is activity. This is movement. This is getting fired up about something. Um, just really putting yourself out there. This is entrepreneurial endeavor. This is psychic abilities. This is, uh, yes, a new physical regimen or a new exercise routine. This is, uh, it could be sex, it could be conception. It, the, and conception can be just you coming to, uh, you're trying to bring an idea into realization. You know, it's the beginning of an idea. So you may be going through that. Yeah, the knight, the king of cups, okay. Some of you focus on business matters. Now business could be actual business. Like I have a business and I'm a owner, blah, 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 whatever. But it also could just be business matters in terms of maybe paperwork, the business of you. I need to get this filed. I need to do this. I need to go over here. I need to handle this. I gotta, you know, someone is coming to look at this and look at the floor and fix this. And so you're really focused on that. You're really focused on maybe even some, this could even be artistic, uh, creative endeavor also um you could work well with managing people people processes or you deal with a lot of different people this could be like call center um this could be in terms of maybe needed to take a lot of calls you're going to get a lot of calls here what's going on for the aquarius right now yeah the hierophant you could work for a large company organization or this these are the people that you are engaging with right now ace of cups Something new starting for you. This could be, again, you got two aces. So something new starting. It is a yes answer, but you've got to, you know, ground the energy here. Your emotions and your actions are lining up. And we just got to ground it by way of maybe a real offer or, um, yeah, make it something solid or stable here. The Hierophant. The Hierophant coming up saying that law, order, regimen. Again, you could do something where... It could be in the legal field, okay? It could be with an agency, somebody, you know, you give approvals and denials, uh, phone calls, ace of cups. Um, this could be the type of business that you're gonna engage in or embark in. You could be in a group setting. Maybe you're gonna be starting a business where there are group-minded or like group, I wouldn't say group think, but maybe, in this association, in this business, and whatever you're doing, maybe you guys think alike, or uh, these are like-minded individuals. Not saying that you you are all, you know, robotic in your your thoughts with other people, but um, there's a link. There's something that links you all together. This looks like a panel. I don't know. It could be about a relationship, spiritual issues, um, something that is emotional. It could be about the physical. This could even be mental health. All right, what's going on for the Aquarius? The Four of Swords. Yeah, mental health, um, rest, break. Something is fragile right now, and somebody's got to kind of think about what the future looks like in terms of this uh, endeavor, or in terms of maybe making some change, uprooting themselves, or or what they're rooted and grounded in. Maybe you have to kind of tweak it or think about what, again, what the future looks like. The Four of Swords says there is suspicion you know, suspicion here. And that's why the relationship is uh, shaky. Some of you could be waiting for paperwork in terms of marriage or marital vows or maybe in terms of even a separation. Let's, let's see what's going on for the Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius? The three of cups. Um, victory triumph success aligning yourself also with maybe a group of people or a person that um, you work well with that's going to bring you to a level of victory triumph and success it says that 
this is the initial stage of creation for some of you. Back to creation, you're starting something new, or you're trying to take something in a new, new direction here. Maybe even reaching out to friends, or it's like a. You could even be going back to another something else. Like maybe you didn't do, you're not doing this thing anymore. Now you're going back to it. This could be money making. This could be friends also. The emperor looks like you're going to be high level. You're going to be an expert in your field. Um, you're going to be recognized. There's going to be recognition. People are going to see that you built something from nothing with the emperor here. You kind of stoic, unmovable. Uh, you make good decisions. Maybe this emperor wants to reconcile with you also the Ten of Swords. An old way of existing, of living, curses being broken. Maybe there was a tough 10 year uh, span in your life. It says it's over. You know, you've gone through the thick of it, the fullness of a thing. It's over. You can choose to stay in that mindset of, oh, woe is me. My life is shit, blah, 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 whatever. But it says that this is over. You don't have to deal with this any longer. The volatility, the hostility, the turbulence, the disruption, the devastation, the being blindsided, over. You don't have to deal with that anymore. You're coming into a level of stability. You're like the square, like a square has four sides four corners you are stable you're you are you have a foundation here all because you decided to start something new the moon card could be you started some of you ended something with a particular person all right and uh, this person's thinking about you thinking about how much they desire you love you maybe they didn't tell you some things maybe they were dishonest uh, they kept you in the dark about some things they kept they were of two minds in terms of this relationship you know we had a two of cups and nine of cups now they want to reconcile they miss the love the devotion whatever it is you guys have they miss the sex they miss the fun they miss the luxury of the connection maybe going out eating drinking um now they could be saying they're they're seeking a one-on-one -on -one relationship they're trying to allow the love that you have to give they want it to flow to them or vice versa this is what you're saying to someone or you want to reconcile with someone the two of cups is saying it says that the relationship could be mutually beneficial but th this could be healing a severed tie also like you you stop talking to this person you stop dealing with them. This came out. Uh, ask for help from others. Okay. I don't know what that's about in terms of, yeah, some of you will be reaching out to other people within the next few months. Something is happening here. We got a definite yes. And I said that too with the two aces. You have a yes. You just have to perform. You got to show up. Perfect timing for this thing to happen for you. Whether it's a job, it's an approval. It's a yes, it's a go ahead. You need to get more information a year from now. I feel like once you get more information about somebody keeping you in the dark, you continuously keep that person at bay. You don't really want them. And a year from now, your life could look very different. Be assertive. Another word for that is confident. Be confident in your actions and your in your speech. Be assertive. Let people know that you mean what you say. You're saying what you mean. All right, so let's see if we get some, any more messages for the Aquarius. All right, so let's see. I guess we'll get more love messages. This was kind of like general. just like somebody started something new, having to wrap their mind around, you know, starting something new. Um, <clears throat> get into it. Really get motivated in terms of starting this thing, in terms of seeing it through. All right, so what are the love messages for Aquarius? What are the, wow, this flipped out romance. Some of you are experiencing a level of romance here, and that's really good. Um, kudos to you, you know, very nice. What, what are the love messages? Yeah, justice, somebody, 
this is fair this is balanced this is what is due unto you this is karmic justice here someone could even feel indebted to you they want to apologize or make some amends repay you maybe in t maybe money or just repay you in energy and time and affection you could have been treated unfair unjust aquarius somebody wants to make something right with the justice card romance and justice could be dealing with the libra Wow, nine of cups, getting what you want. I heard Valentine's Day. Maybe you you make you're gonna make a wish. It could very well come true for you with the nine of cups, romance and justice. Um, maybe you're wishing for a particular person or just um, a new person or just someone. You know, um, maybe you have put that out to the universe with the nine of cups here. Also, some of you have found emotional stability alone because the nine talks about you know singular, just by yourself. Um, what are, what are the love messages for Aquarius judgment some of you dealing with a Scorpio with the king of cups um somebody wants second chance here again treat it unfair someone could feel like you treated them unfair unjust they want you back they want fun with you uh, they love you or there's a, a love for you uh, there's a love for what you offer what you bring um, somebody wants to somebody likes the the feelings that are exerted when they're when they're with you how they feel maybe like the i don't know they get some rush or some endorphin type rush here some this also is somebody wanting to have sex with you you know uh somebody wants you to forgive them you know judgment talks about forgiveness or this is what you want to do or what you you feel like you need to do if somebody wants forgiveness could be this king of cups definitely libra male coming up here they want you to forgive them of all of their past wrongdoings absolve them of their um their trespasses against you against their relationship they want you to make some judgment about them now they want you to make a snap decision they want you to be quick about it they don't want you to you know have to think about it and toil about it and you know, they don't want to hear, I'll get back to you. Somebody wants you to accept them now. Because they feel like they can take this relationship to the next level or you guys will take it to the next level. This is also the universe wanting you to call judgment over a particular relationship with maybe the King of Cups energy. Doesn't have to be the sign. It can be this type of energy. Somebody who had love for you. Maybe even love for other people. Uh, the king of cups is known to keep exes around because it feeds the ego even if this person is not sexually dealing with these exes they love to have these people at bay you know on beck and call the universe may want you to make a judgment a snap judgment like are you in or are you out because we're trying to give you the world because that would be the next car so we're trying to take you to the next level we're trying to take you to the next chapter in your life but we need you because this is your life this is the universe talking to you we need you to make the decision and then we can get behind you we don't do that for you we'll make decisions for you and then you get behind us no 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 it's the other way around because you still have free will and this is your life we're just assisting you in things that you want to come to pass so the universe is asking you to call judgment on somebody that may um just want, wasn't able to give you what you really deserved. Maybe treated you unfairly. Um, either you're going to absolve them of all of their wrongdoings and stay in this. Or you're going to say, you know, I still forgive you, but we're, we can't be together. And then the universe will help you move past that. Whatever that looks like for you. What is this? Um, what are the love messages for the Aquarius? Love messages for Aquarius. Queen of Swords, yeah. Ooh, so some of these people might be getting cut off, you know, with the Queen of Swords showing up. And that might be the best wild with the Knight of Swords. Um, it may be in haste. It may be a bit confrontational. Somebody could even be trying to match you in terms of uh, persuasion in their words. Maybe trying to persuade you to change your mind about... Uh, cutting out the old going into the in the new maybe even talking to somebody about how the relationship doesn't even add value to you you know you're valuable to this person but they're not valuable to you
you may even have conversation with this person because you have a newfound knowledge because the queen of swords is sometimes about be going through so much in life you know i don't want to say that any of you are jaded and i hope that you are not if you are get the help that you need um the queen of swords has gone through so much in life that sometimes it pushes you towards spirituality it pushes you toward asking the questions of why when how and and, and though and then you go down the rabbit hole of learning about spirituality, the esoteric, tarot, uh, life partner, soulmate, twin flame, blah, blah, blah. You just keep going and then you get a newfound knowledge and then you can make significant changes in your life with this, uh, this knowledge here. And you really understand um, cutting out and cutting off. Uh, your words are direct, they're clear and you're honest. Uh, but somebody could want to persuade you. They could be a bit immature. They mean well, but they just don't have the capacity to, you know, to live up to what you want them to be. I don't think they were here for that. But someone could want reconciliation with you. Some of you, things could be going well with your person. Let's see. Yeah, the two of cups coming out. Somebody does want reconciliation. Someone could be trying to persuade you that the relationship could be mutually beneficial. But we got a queen coming to coming up with the knight here. I don't know about that. You know, it just doesn't seem as if somebody is um, settled, settled within themselves. They just they're still on quest. You know, they're still uh, active. They're still running around. They're still you know, engaging in a lot of movement. And the Knight of Swords has a commitment issue, but it seems as if this person is gonna do something big or they need to say something big to pull you back in. You know, they need to put it together real nicely with their words so that you can say, okay, well, I guess it makes sense. Or, you know, I don't know. You know, they really want you to shift your focus and the Knight of Swords is really good at that in terms of, um, you know, intellect and using their, their words. And what they're trying to use their words for is the two of cups so that they can heal this severed tie that you guys can come back together. Let bygones be bygones. It doesn't say let's fix our issues and, and move forward. It just says, let it be, let it be, let bygones be bygones. So you could be dealing with somebody in that energy there. A few more cards here in terms of love. The magician, yeah, somebody's really um, trying to, I don't know, it feels like manip manipulate, manipulate the energy. Again, the magician rules uh, speech, language. So it's like somebody's trying to sell themselves or sell the idea of this relationship. The magician is about idea and this talks about pure masculine energy, okay? Whenever you are trying to use your words to to persuade your masculine energy, whether you're a woman or a man. Okay, so uh, this is what somebody is doing. Let's see, the three of swords and the four of swords. Yeah, somebody wants this back. Look, they they don't don't they can't deal with the heartbreak anymore. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They want the opportunity to solidify the relationship again. It could be by way of sexual activity because the aces talk about physical okay uh they could be coming back around saying that they want to nurture this grow it cultivate it put time behind it maybe they understand the value of you of, of the relationship with the ace of pentacles the three and the four of swords with the magician this equals up to seven of swords i don't know this person is they could be saying, make sure that you do not, Aquarius, this could be you, could be the other person. Make sure your words are not misinterpreted or mis, you know, um, misrepresented, I don't know, or there's miscommunication. Or don't interpret somebody else's words. Uh, don't hear what you want to hear. Hear this person out directly, clearly because read between the lines this person is trying to be real careful with their words real crafty 
there is motive behind this person wanting to get back with you. Why is this person do, why is this person saying all of this stuff? Why do they really want the Aquarius back? Why does this person want the Aquarius back? The death card could be dealing with the Scorpio. Somebody just doesn't they can't deal with the fact that the relationship is over. They don't like this transition into maybe friends or yeah, or not talking at all. The moon card. Because they lied to themselves about how they really felt about you. Yeah. They're really feeling it right now. Especially in this crescent, waning crescent moon type energy right now. As we're leading up to the full moon. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I don't know. You could be dealing with anybody. But um, in separation, they're really feeling emotional about you they're really even having to deal with the lies that they told themselves this person thinks about you at night there could be some vivid dreams either from you or for them why does this person want the Aquarius back the eight of cups they like that you took your self-respect back for some of you with the eight of cups that you made this decision to walk away and it was all out of self-respect self-analysis you analyzed you oh i'm getting too much and i'm not getting enough back oh well let me just stop giving at all they like that you you were able to walk away they are the two of wands that you were able to you had enough courage to understand I don't know where I'm walking to with the Eight of Cups. I could be single for the rest of my life, but I know I'm not going to stay in this. I have enough self-respect to walk away from this. I'm not going to allow you to degrade me or devalue me or the relationship or what I bring to the relationship. I'm not going to allow you to continuously take and give so little. The Two of Wands, this person wants you back. Uh, this is comparison to in opposition. So this person went on the other side of not being with the Aquarius or Aquarius. This is what you've done. They don't like it on the other side. They thought the grass was greener, but it is not. The grass is green where you water it. And they probably went with somebody else and they were in the same energy of doing as little as possible. Maybe they were even in the energy of chasing another person and getting as little as possible from the other person. So they went somewhere else and thought that it was going to be better. They're finding out and realizing that it is not. So this person wants you back because they have compared where they are, who they with or who they're with, with you. And of course, there's no comparison. They want you back the five of pentacles. This person doesn't like the fact that you can just not acknowledge them, ignore them, that this place that this relationship has been in a very destitute, despondent, low place for a long time. Like nobody has been putting in energy in this relationship. It's been a, in a poor place. They don't like that. They, they want you to take them out of this, you know, uh, give them some attention. last card for why this person is really trying to bring the Aquarius back the full card uh, they feel like you were the one or they know that you're fabulous okay but you don't really let that go to your hand you're humble they had to eat some humble pie too what I do want the Aquarius to realize that when we ask the question of why this person wants you back we have no no offers here so they're not offering anything You know, to to ask the question, why does it, does this person want the Aquarius back? It would be um, it would be a good thing if we saw some offers there, like oh, they want to offer you love, they want to offer you devotion, they want to offer you marriage, they want to. We don't see that we see a very um, a very low vibrational person who wants the high vibrational person to come back because they you brought a very um, you are the highlight in their life. We see that um, this person misses you in totality. You're the entire you, everything about you. And um, they're not getting this with somebody else, with someone else. 
this person doesn't have the it factor. This person says you have the it factor here with the fool card. They can be themselves around you also. Um, a year from now, get more information is coming out. We got, we have that last time. Um, get more information before you move forward. Don't make a decision, you know, half cocked or half ass. Peaceful resolution. It will be a peaceful resolution. You just got to trust that it will be. Trust that you're on the right path here. Uh, again, be assertive. Be assertive in your communication with this person because it looks like they're going to try to uh, manipulate with their words. Maybe even with their actions. Do something real grand and maybe have you in the mindset of being confused about how, how you interpret. That's what that was. Mis misrepresentation. Mis interpret or miss. Yeah, like don't interpret this person doing something over the top for love if they love you just the very words the sincere words of i love you the the them being genuine and, and calm and not having the theatrics if you can if they can just really level with you in terms of expressing their emotions you know I, I feel like that would mean so much more than somebody trying to do something real grand and, and have the theatrics because it's almost as if they're hiding behind that like look at this but don't look at me because I haven't changed but, but look at all the stuff that I'm going to do or I'm going to say or look at how I took you out for dinner or I bought you this but don't look at and don't ask questions about you know, my behavior or my character, or if I have changed, because I have not. Aquarius, you might have to continuously stick, stay away from this. You got some good stuff on the other side of this. It looks like somebody with somebody new. Universe really wants you to call judgment. I think we talked about that earlier in the first spread. Like, are you in or are you out with this person? Because the universe at this time, I feel deeply in my spirit. Like, they, they're not confused because, you know, the Almighty says they know, you know, um, the Almighty knows the beginning from the end, the Alpha and the Omega. So they're not confused, but more so you're confused. And, and universal energy doesn't operate in confusion. Always remember that. So when you're confused about what to do, they have to kind of take the back seat until you can come out of that confusion. So it's the thing of the universe is like a wrecking ball and you have power over that wrecking ball. And think about if you're confused and you have power over a wrecking ball. Well, is it left or is it right? Or is it both? Or is it do nothing? You know, and you're giving this wrecking ball, the universe direction, but you're in confusion. It, it, it doesn't make sense. Therefore, and that's why, you know, the Almighty talks about how they, you know, they don't operate in confusion. You know, they're not a God of confusion. Uh, so when you're confusion, you get to a place of meditation. Stop, take a break, talk to, to a trusted individual write things down, the pros and the cons. Stop overthinking it, put it on paper and look at it. Cause when you can see it in front of you, it makes more sense. You can't run from it. But when you think about something, you, we have how many thoughts a day? You can just overthink it and you can think of another thought and then another one and then it just, but when you really focus in on what it is you need to do on what makes sense, um, then you can move forward. And always keep that in mind. I always think about that, you know, with that confusion state. Well, then we know that's low vibrational and that's a different energy. And we always want to come out of that. And we come out of that by focusing on the, the facts of the matter, the pros and the cons. Um, what makes sense? OK, because it's going to help you come out of confusion. OK, um, and always think of it in that wrecking ball sense. You have power over the wrecking ball, but if you're confused, is it building A or building B? You told the wrecking ball to hit building B and there's still people in there, you know, because you were confused about which one because you just didn't have knowledge. So Aquarius get to a place of rest.
peace with the six of swords here. Um, peaceful resolution because it seems as if some of you just really confused if you should trust this person again if you should trust the universe you don't know where you're going you know that you're not getting what you want in some particular relationship with someone but you've got to really come to terms of it if it if it is what it is it is what it is if this person has been taking advantage of you they've been lying to you you're not been getting what you want you always get your feelings hurt the you know Come on, the list goes on and on and on. They've taken money from you. They've done this. They've done, they done. had you looking stupid. They had, you know, you saw them out with someone else. You, The list goes on and on and on. Then you, you know what to do. What's keeping you tied there is ego. And that's what's keeping a lot of people tied to situations. You want to win. How dare this person not choose me? And when you go into that, that mindset, that is ego, and we all have it. You have to check that too. You have to say, you know what? I'm not gonna allow myself to go to that place. It is what it is. If they don't want me, if, the, if I am being rejected, I need to accept it and possibly process these emotions and do the process of moving on. It is not an overnight one. It is easier said than done. You do have to do some work. You do have to go sit down somewhere. You might cry. You might get upset. Okay, yes, you're human, but at the same time, we. we we can't run from that. Uh, we have to rest in it and then move on. Um, and uh, sometimes what's keeping you tied to an individual is ego. Just everybody wants to win. Everybody wants to be chosen, especially if you're choosing someone else. You want them to choose you back. But sometimes you just have to really let things go, okay? So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. I don't know who that was for. I hope that it resonates. Let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Um, let's put some hearts down in the comment section. The Nine of Cups come, came out in two separate spreads here. So let's put some hearts down in the comment section because we're going to get to a better place um, emotionally. It seems as if you're right in the, in the thick of it, right in the brink of it, Aquarius. And you have to determine, are you going backwards? Or are you going forwards? Or are you doing nothing at all? But you, you have to really let something go so that the universe can you know be that wrecking ball in your life be that judgment card it's like we're right at the break